Hello and welcome to another Create and Learn video where we make magic with technology. Have you ever wanted to try your hand at Roblox Studio to design your own games? Stay tuned, we'll show you how. To start off, you can visit roblox.com on the web or open the Roblox app. If you haven't logged in or haven't created an account with Roblox, that'll be your first step. If you have an account with Roblox, go ahead and log into that account. Otherwise, you can choose the sign up button in the top right corner. Once you've logged into Roblox, it'll take you to your home page, and across the top, you'll see Discover, Avatar Shop, Create, and Robux. We want to go to the Create tab. Click on that, and the Start Creating button will appear towards the bottom of your screen. That is what's going to start the download so that we can install Roblox Studio. When we click on Start Creating, it'll offer us a place to download. It may also pop up a window that asks you to open Roblox Studio if you've already installed it on your computer. When you click on the Start Creating button, Roblox will check if you have Roblox Studio already installed on your computer. If you don't, you'll be prompted to download and it'll ask you where you'd like to save unless you automatically have your Chrome saved to a certain location, which is probably your downloads folder. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. And when it's finished, you can run the exe file to start up Roblox Studio and begin the installing process. You can watch it install And then when it opens up, it will ask for your sign-in information, although it may actually automatically pull that information if you're signed into Roblox on your browser or on your Roblox application for Windows. Once Roblox Studio has completed downloading, you'll watch it install and start up the interface. The next thing that will pop up will be a sign-in screen. Since mine didn't automatically pick up that I was logged into Roblox, I would have to use my same username and password that I use for Roblox in order to sign in. Once you have completed logging in to Roblox Studio, you should get a screen that looks like this. This is in dark mode. You may also have a screen that shows up looking kind of like this, but it has a light gray background instead, which is in light mode. Both versions are correct. You should see your uh, username up in the right-hand corner. And from here, you can use any of the templates that they provide to create yourself a new game. If you have made games before, they will show up under My Games. And once you've made a few games, you can go to Recent and they will show up on this tab as well. So to start off with a new game, you can click on, say, Base Plate and it will load in and you're ready to go to build your first course or your first game or project with Roblox Studio. Now that you've installed Roblox Studio, this would be a great time to watch our video on how to make your first obby. In addition to YouTube videos, Create and Learn also has amazing fun classes that you can take with an instructor who knows how to use Roblox Studio. We're able to work in small groups and teach everyone how to create their own fun obbies and other games like an avalanche run and all sorts of fun activities together in Roblox Studio. Then you can post your games out to Roblox Studio for your friends to play with you. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Create and Learn channel so that you'll, you'll be notified anytime we post a new video, especially a Roblox Studio video. Thanks for joining me.